Hey, sorry, my video cut out. Let's finish this paper. So our application problem today is about a young man who had a pencil. And that pencil to begin with was 19 centimeters long. Now he used it and he sharpened it. And after he sharpened it, it was four centimeters shorter. So all we're gonna do is subtract 19 centimeters minus four centimeters. Remember when we subtract four from 19, we can subtract the four from the nine. So nine minus four equals five and you still have the 110. So now his pencil is 15 centimeters long. 19 minus four, equals 15. We put cm for centimeters. That helps us remember centimeters, okay? All right. So today we're gonna measure with paper clips, but I didn't give you any paper clips. You're gonna have to use these paper ones in the back. So here's what you do. First of all, you have to take apart your paper. So between the exit ticket and the problem set, just pull it apart like that. So now I have this one all the way to that one, and that's still together. And then I have my exit ticket. Now don't lose your exit ticket. Take that one apart. And here's what we're gonna do. We're going to cut right here. I know this cuts off a very little bit part of your exit ticket. So don't worry, I will just have you measure from here to here, okay? So no stress, and you can still see everything you need to see. Just cut really carefully along that dotted line and then it won't mess it up too much, okay? Now you still have to turn in this exit ticket, so don't lose that, right? The other side has some small paper clips along that dotted line. Cut very carefully. And we're gonna use both of these, the short one and the tall ones, okay? So, keep those together over there. Let's, um... okay, we're on to our worksheet here where we can see these items. And it says, measure the length of these items with the large paper clips. So here's my large paper clips. They're the ones that are bigger than the other ones. And I'm gonna use those to measure with. So first it says to measure the bottle. So I'm gonna do that first. Now, something I can do with my paper clips is, let's see if I can find it, oh, there they are, is I'm going to actually cut it right off at the end where the end of the paper clip is. And then, let me stop sharing, there we go. And then we're gonna cut this one off right at the end of that paper clip, okay? So that I just have my paper clips. So now you can see that I have my paper clips and I cut off the ends so that I can see the beginning of my paper clips right there. All right, so it says measure the bottle. I'm gonna start right here at the top of my paper clip and go right there. How many paper clips long is the bottle? One, two, and we're about halfway through the third one. So we're gonna say the bottle is two and one half paper clips, large paper clips. Let's try the caterpillar. Caterpillar starts right here. And it ends right about there. So the caterpillar is also one, two, and about a half of a paper clip. So the caterpillar is also two and a half paper clips. Okay, let's measure the key. Key starts right there. We start, I line up this line with the top of the key. And I look down and it says one and a half. So the key is about one and a half paper clips. Ready? Let's go on to the pen. Let's line this one up with the very end. This one right here, one paper clip, two, three, and four paper clips all the way to the very end right here. Can you see that end? It's super close to four, so it's about four paper clips. 
Let's try the cow. The cow is one, two, and about a half. So the cow, sicker, and the bottle, and the caterpillar are all the same, two and a half, all right? Now, it says measure the problem set of paper. All right, so this is gonna be a little bit tricky because we're going to line this up right up here, okay? But as you notice, I can't get all the way to the end because my paper clips end right here. So I'm gonna make a little line right there. I'm gonna count up the ones I have so far, which are one, two, three, four, five, six paper clips so far. Then I'm gonna pick up my paper and I move it down to that where I made the little mark on my paper. And I'm gonna count some more. So I had six already. Now I have seven, eight. My problem set paper is eight paper clips long. Now we're gonna do a book, a reading book. How about if we do our James and the Giant Peach? So I got my James and the Giant Peach book here. Let's measure it from the top with our paper clips. It's one, two, three, four, five and a half. You can see that it goes off the edge right here. So it's only five and a half paper clips long. And we're going to say that our book was five and a half. Okay. Now, as we turn it over, so you got all that. Measure the length of each small object with the small paper clips. So now get out your small paper clips. Right, they're the ones that look like this. And we're going to measure these items now. These ones on the back are not the same length as the ones on the front. Let's start with the bottle. So we have one, two, three, and a half paper clips because it goes right about to there. Sorry, you can't see that. So I lined up my paper clip on the top and I counted down and it was three and a half paper clips of the small paper clips. The key is two and a half. Oops, there's the key. Let's do the caterpillar. Lining up this end with the end of the caterpillar and counting over one, two, three, four, five. Ooh, right there, five. The caterpillar is five small paper clips long. What about the pen? Okay, let's line the pen up. One, two, three, four, five paper clips long. Guess what? On this page, the pen and the caterpillar are both five paper clips long. Now, this caterpillar is bigger than the caterpillar that was on the front, and this pen is not quite as big. So they kind of played with it a little bit there. Let's look at the cow sticker. Line up one end with one side with one end of that arrow. Count over one, two, three, four. Ooh, it's like three and a half, three and three fourths. I'm just gonna say four because it's close enough. We're gonna do the same thing with this one. Now, remember, on this end, it's better if I cut this off right here. And then I'm gonna cut this off right here. That way I can use that measuring better than I could otherwise, okay? So let's just measure this way this time. So from this end to that end, use all the paper clips and it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So on my problem set going this direction, instead of that direction, it's nine. And our reading book, Use the same reading book. We're going to count up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and a half. Eight and a half for our reading books. Okay. So we've measured both with our small ones and with our long ones. I'm just looking at this paper here. I wonder if these are the same length. Yeah. Yeah, these are the same length. 
one, two, three, four, five, six. So if you notice, it takes, look right here. If we look at our big ones compared to our small ones, six large ones is the same as one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine small ones, right? So that's kind of interesting, huh? Okay, now we're gonna use these for both of our um, homeworks and our exit tickets. So let's go to our homework and exit ticket now. I'm gonna put these side by side as I do it. I think that'll be a lot easier, okay? And then I'm going to measure them with each one. So cut uh, the string of paper clips and measure the length of each object. So we're gonna start with the paintbrush and we're gonna say the paintbrush is one, two, three, four. So length in large paper clips is four. Length in small paper clips is, and that up right there, one, two, three, four, five, six. So in small ones, it's six. Okay. Let me move my face out of the way here. Okay. So I wrote it right here. I said how many large ones it took to measure the paintbrush and how many small ones. All right. So today, um, I want you to go ahead. Let's see, it is the seventh. So today, um, if you need help with this, you can come to my tutor class and I will finish doing this homework with you. Um, on the back of one of your homeworks is your exit ticket. And you're going to do the same thing with your exit ticket as you do with your homework. You're gonna first measure the bow with large paper clips, and then you're gonna measure the bow with small paper clips. And you're gonna put the answers right here. So this one says bow. Here's your large paper clips, small paper clips. Here's your candle, large paper clips, small paper clips. Vase and flowers, you're gonna measure it with your large paper clips and your small paper clips, okay? That's all you have to do. Measuring is kind of fun, isn't it? So thanks for trying hard, friends. I love it when you work hard and you try your best. That's all I ask of you, right? Keep up the good work. I'll talk with you a little later.